I've come to talk to you about the Cornu Spiral. Earlier defined by a guy named Euler. And the Euler Spiral is the appropriate accreditation to the person that defined that curve. And Euler did it by um, doing experiments with a spring that a weight is hanging at the end of. And because Pilates has such a connection to springs, it's, it's pleasing to me that to discover that the Cornu spiral more more accurately known as the Euler spiral. Because of Euler who did experiments with springs um, suspended by a weight, gravity, springs, um, it's way it's way pleasing for a Pilates person uh, to or at least just for me for me to see how much the the revelation of this curve happened through experiments done with springs under load. Um, and Cornu did it mostly by um, the intersection of waves coming in in at different at different angles like if you were in a bay and two different sets of waves came into the bay from different directions you'd get some waves that reinforced each other and some waves that canceled each other out and one term for that kind of thing is diffraction and Alfred Cornu in, in doing his work in diffraction um, revealed the Cornu spiral, the Euler spiral. Um, so it's not like they discovered it. It's not like they made it up out of nothing. It's they discovered that's there. And it seems that Fibonacci was a mathematician that that pointed or suspected the curve was there uh, as, as though he he thought of it as an area to be to be explored but never got to it himself and Euler came along and fulfilled the suspicion by creating the data to reveal this, the curve and then Fresno, a mathematician, came along and applied calculus and defi defined the curve known as the Euler spiral and the corner spiral to find that curve in Fresnel integrals as part of calculus. And it was that calculus that Cornu used, Alfred Cornu used, to develop his work in diffraction. So, and then another guy came along and and called it some name I don't know how to pronounce and it seems there's much debate about. Clothoid or a clothoid. Um, who took the name from a Greek entity, goddess maybe, that, that to twist by spinning. Um, so, A rose is a rose by any other name. And this curve is the same curve uh, by any other name. And what matters about the curve that makes it notable 
um, is that the curve is used in practical application to figure out the curvature and the embankment of roads and highways and in that same regard it's used to figure out amusement park rides, roller coasters, and more fascinating to me even is in computer rendering, computer graphics rendering, when you Photoshop something, Photoshop something out and a curve is sought to be maintained, the math of the curve figures that out. Because the curve represents the, the, the physics or the math of the physics to, to be the smoothest in a curve, point to point. That's why it works out in highways and in roller coaster rides and in rendering and computer graphics. I'm fascinated that I came to a sensation of cornu tension in my body and found it to be such a, a mathematical figure that had such a, has such a, uh, to me, colorful past. Because I think it's easy once you have the flexibility in your body to engage the physics of the curve in your own body and benefit from it. By, by your level of control and how easily you move through space. I think the subject of Joseph Pilates' passion, as represented in his original work, his photos, his pictures, his words, points to something beyond an artistic impression and compares to the revelation of the curve I'm so fond of and, and f first discovered it as the Cornu spiral, more appropriately called the Euler spiral and more broadly called the Clothied spiral. But the curve that has been defined by physical experimentation and mathematical theorization and I'm merely pointing to the obvious physics of that in, at work in our, our bodies and how the awareness of that physics can enhance uh, whatever we do with our bodies. So it's a it's imagery that facilitates idealization of movement like doing the Pilates pattern the the mat work of Pilates the contrology mat work that sequence with perhaps with some additions or some attract subtractions, but that as the fundamental paradigm of the pattern within the mat work. And the mat work pressed through flow, right? Offers fusion.
by elevating the, the necessity of the spirit uh, participating in the effort. Once you can, can get your head wrapped into the notion of a curled finger grip in your hips as being the nature of the energy dynamics in your, in your core, then, then establishing other rotational dynamics off of that core facilitates uniform usage of the musculature through the pursuit of alignment point to point. And all of the organics come into line to facilitate the requirements of moving the biological through the physical and staying in one piece. So there I am in a car with one of my blue bricks and a tape measure and I'm explaining how the core is like the tape measure in that the tape measure has a spring in it that, that draws the spring in tighter and when you pull the spring out the diameter of the spring gets smaller and the length of the spring gets longer <laughs> exactly what I'm, I'm exactly the imagery that that I've been teaching for what seems like forever about how you engage your core you engage your core with all of the musculature that surrounds your pelvis. And, and in engaging it in a rotational grip, all of it gets used uniformly to facilitate the physics that come out of that grip. The fact that, that the image came out of my sensation and looking to explain the, the, the physics of my sensation and that I was into the, the complete trademark as a representation of my, my view of body dynamics. My channel is, is about helping you find the sensation of core new tension in your body that gives you a, a clear sensation of alignment and develops uniform usage in the pursuit of that alignment. That's what Michael Miller Pilates is all about. Reaching through that, through the classical work, because that's as pure as it gets. And when you want the best return on your effort, you want to you wanna start as pure as possible and develop it from the purest expression out.